everyone today new topic is linear discriminant analysis okay simply i'll say the definition you just read these points okay and linear discriminant analysis it will separate the two classes okay the separation between the two classes will be done here okay and it also reduces the high dimension space into low dimension space when we are separating the data and uh, when we are combining the data which is also related to one class to another class then we can also reduce the space also right so in that case high dimension space into low dimension space and uh, linear discriminant normal discriminant discriminant function analysis these three are the different names of linear discriminant analysis don't be confused if they ask about normal discriminant analysis or discriminant function analysis okay it is mainly commonly used for what supervised classification problems it means it separates the classes in a data set okay next for example when we have two classes and we need to separate them efficiently okay classes can have multiple features using only a single feature to classify them may result in some overlapping when we are separating the two classes you should compare all the features okay if we compare only one feature it will be overlapped okay next another example we have two data set points belonging to two different classes that we want to classify here two dimensional graph is given before using the linear discriminant analysis it does not recognize the two classes here right it it is not recognizing how to separate the two classes before using linear discriminant analysis this is a 2d graph and we need to get into 1d graph and uh, separability between the two classes but without using linear discriminant analysis we cannot get the 1d graph and also separability between the two classes okay when we'll get by using linear discriminant analysis we can reduce the 2d graph into 1d graph in order to maximize the separability between the two classes okay here see the two classes is mixed here before using the linear discriminant analysis after using the linear discriminant analysis what happened here a red line is formed here a continuous red line here the two classes is combined here before after we got the exact one okay two criteria are used by lda to create a new axis first one is maximize the difference between maximize the distance between means of two classes okay first one it will maximize the difference distance between the two classes means it find out the mean of the two classes and next minimize the variation within the each class after finding the mean it will vary the each class okay this is a functionality of the linear discriminant analysis simply it maintain the what it maintain the difference between the two classes it separates the two classes okay next in the above graph it can see that a new axis in red is generated and plotted in the 2d graph see here we generated a new red line okay in the after image graph okay such that it maximize the difference between the means of two classes and minimize the variation within the each class okay in simple terms this newly generated axis increases the separations between the red data points of the two classes after generating this new axis using above mentioned criteria all the data points of the classes are plotted on this new axis and show as in the figure given below in the first figure what happened here in the first figure using only one feature overlapping is done here after selecting all the features and after conducting some rules we got the new axis that is separable between the two classes okay this is called this is called the linear discriminant analysis for what sake we are using this linear discriminant analysis for separation of the two classes simply okay thank you